coaches and healers to be their fullest expressed self in the world and to get their impact to the people that need it so deeply. Hmm. So do we have any questions or are we going to end and feel complete? Yeah. Yeah, I can come on. I um, I noticed last week because I listened to the last masterclass that I was in that energy of no one's buying. I have I have one client who's coming to an end. Mm-hmm. When I say, and I don't think she's coming to an end, but she's got three or four sessions left with me. She's mm-hmm. been my highest paid client at five thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Um, I did go to a networking event last week, and it's that's when this kind of energy was like my friend. And another client, another friend had said, oh, you need to go to this, you'll get clients there. Or you need to come to this, you'll get clients there. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm putting out the energy that I haven't got any clients because I'm telling them all about my training, all the, all the work I've been doing, my body feel my pleasure. And um, yeah, so I was really must have been putting out that energy of where do I get my clients now? <laughs> right so, mm. and so this networking event I really didn't didn't enjoy um mm. at all and um yeah so I've tried to I just noticed that kind of can we get into that energy of which I started doing for myself like my clients are already there I just and when you said about you're looking at the brown Mm-hmm. You don't see the green. There's definitely that going on for me. I, I, yeah, I, I, I know. Um, yeah. even from another thing I went to, somebody was like, "Oh, send me." Well, she didn't send send me. She said, "Do I don't think I'd like to work with you?" Or, and I didn't send her the link to book in. I've still not sent the link to book in or caught up with her. They're like, there. There's a few things that I could follow up. That I'm not doing so okay and then felt like mush all week so mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> definitely also, moving you're really healing right now so like yeah yeah the, moving through just having that awareness of why are people saying oh you need to come to this to get clients or you need that mm-hmm. that was great awareness of, yeah of celebrating like, for that That's yeah awesome. like oh is that what I'm putting out <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And that's good for you to know. So like if we correlate it to dating, it's like, I really need a man. <laughs> I really like a man. That'd be great. I really like someone to date right now. Like people can kind of feel that desperate energy. So do you want to clear yeah. at least let go of any and all desperate or scarcity energy that you have been putting mm-hmm. out that we can clean that up and that you can yes. realign into the truth that it's fucking amazing to work with you and that yeah. your soul line clients are looking for you, that they're actively seeking you out, that they're asking their friends to connect them with someone like you, that they're looking for it, that they're mm-hmm. doing the searching and that you can allow yourself to be in more of the receiver role of welcoming them in. Would you like that? Yes, please. Yeah. Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to invite in the possibility that a previous client could re-enroll again, that a current or previous client could tell a super close friend and that their referral could welcome in a new person at your new rates and that you can allow yourself to have more and more of these green opportunities present themselves to you more clearly now. Would you like that? Yes, please. Do you want to clear release and let go of all the old energetics that you've had around seeing the brown, seeing the story that no one's buying, and to release and let go of any and all old identities, paradigms, or lenses where there's a scarcity of buyers, where there's a scarcity of potential clients? Do you want to clear those? Yes, please. And do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to move into the space of an attachment with clients, with clients re-enrolling and live without that creating a story about you or your business and that you can welcome new clients in with ease without making it mean something about you or your business and that you can stand in your power around your soul's work in the world, regardless of what you're personally seeing or what other people's could could potentially judge of seeing or not seeing in your world in this exact moment 
Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to bless and release the energy of lower ticket clients, of 5K clients, and move into the energetic field of welcoming in your 6K or above ideal soul aligned clients? Yes, please. Do you want to know what that looks like and feels like? You can call them in, magnetize and attract more souls into your world, doing the things that you enjoy, creating content, sharing your story, going on podcasts or opportunities that feel so juicy and good for you, that align you to your highest frequency so you can meet them in their optimal frequency to work with you when they're ready, willing, and able to invest in themselves. Do you like that? Yes, please. Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to ask better questions and get better results from those better questions and that you're worthy and deserving of reflecting and taking space to look at spaces of like, where do I go next or how do I do something next without that being the major focus and without draining your energy? Yes, please. Do you want to clear release and let go any and all shoulds or comparisons and old stories that you need to do something because someone else said, this is where you get clients. This is what will work. The strategy will work. You can clear release and let go of like any and all like ABC cookie cutter things that haven't fit for you or haven't resulted in feeling alignment up until this point in your life or business. And you want to forgive really? yourself on all levels for doing things that you didn't enjoy, for doing things that felt off a little bit, or even like really off because you wanted the money, because you needed to pay the bills, because fill in the blank reason that you can forgive yourself and also feel, feel fully able to forgive anyone else who is an actor on your stage during that lesson. Do you like that? Yes, please. Yes, please. Do you want to clear release and let go of any and all old avoidant, anxious, or procrastination or like old coping mechanism energies around not doing something that would feel in alignment because you're afraid of the outcome or you're afraid of the lack of outcome that you would want happening? Do you, like yes. that? Do you want to clear release and let go of the fear of rejection, the fear of like making the wrong move like there's kind of like some like don't want to hit the mine in the minefield so it's better just to be still than to like be blown up or to have a negative bad consequence happen so do you want to clear release and let go of any and all junk trauma cell trauma frozen energy or shock around that and we can also heal that on a historic level healing any and all past lives where that came in resolving it on a history level as well do you like that yes please And you want to know what it looks like and feels like to feel safe following up and doing the things that are in alignment mm -hmm. with your divine inspired action steps, that you can do it in baby steps and that you can resource yourself so that you can do it from a space of full cup or ideally an overflowing cup. Do you like that? Yes, please. And how's all that feeling for you? Really good, thank you. You're <laughs> welcome. Shake <laughs> yeah, shake it out. Yeah, shake the it old. Out. So yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. where do I find my clients? Is an okay reflective thing. You could also be like tuning into your heart and be like, what's my best next step to connect with the ideal soul who's ready, willing, and able to invest in working with me. That might give you a slightly different answer if that feels better for you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It does. And it's giving me the nudge to um, message this this client who I kind of knew she was going to be my client when I, I saw her. And thank you. I think, Bill, you've really given me permission to tap into my like healing skills and 
I was, yeah. and they've been smothered the last, you know, perimenopause kind of pulls you in lots of different directions and mm -hmm. seeing what comes out at the end of it will be quite um, <laughs> fascinating really. But yeah, yeah, I feel like I've connected with that part of me again. So thank you very much. Mm. You. You're so welcome. I love that. And sending love to all of your like cocooning parts that are ready to yeah. like be a beautiful, beautiful butterfly on the other side. <laughs> I, I can feel it. What a good time. I, I got all my times and dates and with something else mixed up and it just threw me here. So um, oh, I love that. Yeah, uh, there's a story behind it, but I'll share that privately. <laughs> yeah, definitely share it privately with me. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Laura. Thank you so much. You're I so really welcome. appreciate that. It's just, yeah, incredible today because I felt the worst today. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's integrate this in and also give mm. you an instant healing for your body and your cells and everything that they're working with right now. And fill you up through your higher powers, unconditional love, filling you up with unconditional love and bright white light healing energy. And let's also call in through the seventh plane. Any and all light workers, light beings, spirit guides, spirit animals, and supportive energy that supports your body. Would you like all that too? Yes, please. Mm. You can take some deep mm. breaths here. how's your body feeling yeah it's like all the spirit like was like she's here <laughs> she's like they haven't been anywhere <laughs> it's just i've been in the mud and the ground and the earth and the soils and the mm -hmm. like that kind of energy which i look i like as well you know it's yes. not one or the other mm -hmm. um but yeah there was lots of like little small animals <laughs> which was quite mm -hmm. nice yeah. i Thank love you. that Mm, you are so welcome and I love that it's like in the energy of like newness and like springs just around the corner like it feels like yeah. you're like positioned exactly where you're meant to be yeah like, yeah oh. <laughs> and that was the kind of animals which sometimes I can be like oh you know it's yeah so mm -hmm. spring thank you for bringing that energy and of course that's what yeah. like. so mm -hmm. obvious isn't it <laughs> when you've got a reflector <laughs> yeah and it's like yeah. sometimes when we're in it even when I'm in it I need someone else to point out the things to me so yeah yeah gorgeous thank you very very, very much you're so welcome I'm sending yeah. you so much love and thank you everyone who's been watching all of this we're yeah. at the two hour mark so I will say goodbye and sending you all so much love as you go along your soul's journeys <laughs> okay bye, bye.